come on, come on round. 129. Is that a bit further? Well, if anybody can knock these three balls in, this man can. Of course, that's the great thing about this young fella, David, is nerves of steel, or seems to have. Hugo is going to get onto the front. No, it isn't. Now we're going to have to see a super shot here. Well, come on, Steve. Pull, pull a fabulous shot out. I'm sure you can do it. And he's playing this with a lot of screw to stay on the black. Come on, get in. Fabulous shot. And this is it, the first 147 grade on television. 140. Well, I'm shaking. And I'll bet, right, I'll bet Steve at this moment can see the pocket closing up and closing up and Come getting smaller. Come on, Steve. No. Yeah. Apart from uh, walking along here, which you don't very often, oh, do it every day. dancing in your uh, and listening to music, um, uh, and having various business interests which you don't pay much attention to. You also like reading, I understand, and in particular Tom Sharp books. Well, yeah, you can't read them that often though. You can only read them once in a while. We haven't made that many. I, I, I read uh, fairly sparsely, but when I, when I do, I, I don't particularly go for thrillers or anything. I just like, um, just like having a laugh. There's not that many great comedy books out. There's a lot... If you, if you turn the back of a, back of a book the blurb on the back. Every comedy book is hilarious. And but there's not many that are. Yeah. But I mean Tom Sharp of all the, the books I've read are the funniest and the, the most farcical. He's very, very funny at creating a farce. Very similar to today with the mud on air. <laughs> <laughs> um, Does that extend to television and cinema as well? Do you like humour? Yes, oh yeah, yeah, I think uh, I like to, I think when I'm not playing snooker I like to be entertained. I think uh, being made to laugh is, is as good as anything. You just said, just then, sort of repeated, it's very difficult making things interesting when, when you're not that... Does the tag yeah, when you're not that yeah. boring actually worry you? No, no, it hasn't spurred me to do anything interesting either. Um, you, you, you get... Uh, the one thing people, all of a sudden, right, when you become well-known at something, they want to ask you... They want, to, they want you to do something that's different from everybody else. There's not that many things you can do. So, uh, I just got on... I've, I've reached a nice plateau. And as far as uh, I'm not particularly bothered what anybody writes or says, and I'm doing the things that I enjoy, and uh, getting sort of a great deal of benefit from playing snooker as well at the same time. But you can't really impress upon people how, how much joy you can get out of playing snooker, because obviously they don't get the same joy when they play, otherwise they'd be playing as much as we do. Do you think you're boring? Possibly. To people who think okay. I am, yeah. But to people who don't, no. Have you got quite involved in finding out what they're planning to do? No, we leave that to them. Well, I mean, are you quite interested in the... In the I, I'm, I'm interested in, in sort of the whole thing, but I mean, I've done enough of it to sort of... Uh, I, I know roughly what's going on. Everybody's got their job to do, and it's no good getting too involved and being too nosy, because you just put people off. Mm -hmm. um, the, the directors and the producer, they're all doing different jobs, and uh, we've we just got to be there. You're just like a lump of meat to be put in a place and, and done. Oh, you don't really feel like that. Oh, no, you? no, but that's what you, that's what you, you might as well have an attitude and play like this because you really are being used for sort of perhaps 30 minutes out of the whole 12 hours you're in the place. Um, and it, and it is difficult, it's, it's very hard. If you had to do it every day of your life, it would, I think it would be monotonous. But we do it once in a blue moon, so we're, we're, we're quite fortunate. What are you looking forward to most today? <laughs> I don't know. I think that I think the mixing part is going to be the worst bit for me. I'll be quite pleased when that's over and, and I can get back into the seven players and we can have a laugh. I think the culmination of it, um, we won't see the benefit of, of this part until it's actually put together on a video. But I think the good fun will be when we come in here with 3,000 people standing watching us performing up there. I mean, I know it's miming to the record, but uh, that'll be hilarious. And, and you'll see a different reaction from different players. Some will get more involved than others. Probably myself and Dennis get more involved because I think we've probably got a few less inhibitions than some of them in different in different ways. But it depends how much we have to drink throughout the night. Will you drink before you go on? Probably. We'll all, we'll all have a drink. What sort of thing will you drink? 
What we oh, cut the chrono board, I think, before going if they got it, yeah. You're a lager man? Yeah, yeah, usually, yeah. You know how much you can take. <laughs> how much can you take? Me? Well, not I don't know. Eight bottles of Cronenberg, that's my limit. And then I float on in swimming pools, <laughs> upside down singing. Are you a happy drunk? Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm very soft and cuddly and well, as cuddly as I can be, it's being so thin. No, I'm a soppy, I'm a soppy. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm a lot nicer person when I'm drunk than when I'm not, <laughs> when I'm sober. Do you drink during games? Not when I'm playing, no. Mm. No, I don't. I do exhibition matches, um, especially when I'm uh, working with courages. Not, not really because I've... Uh, got to but I just quite enjoy because everybody else is having a drink at the same time and we have some good fun nights uh, with a few lagers doing the trick shots and that. When I thought I was coming to see you the last thing I expected to do was to find you practicing in a room like this I mean it's not a snooker room is it? No and I'm not too sure if it's practice is the right word I'm being shown and whether I, I don't think I can practice it really it's very difficult. What are you being shown? Um, well it's called mixing record I, I don't really rec Record mixing. Um, it's a bit more complicated than that, but that's probably the, the easiest thing for most people to understand. Um, it's not just playing one record, it's putting records together so that uh, you don't actually hear a stop in the music. And Performing in front of an audience as well, I mean, is that what it's all leading to? Steve no, no. Davis, Dick no, Jockey Extraordinaire? This is, this is just for a laugh, really. I don't think uh, it's my cup of tea too much, but it'll be good for one-offs. It'll probably teach me never to do it again. That'd be the funniest thing. One thing that intrigues me is that uh, you have got a bit of a reputation for being um, fairly conservative and fairly quiet. Interesting. And interesting is the word I was looking for. That's right. <laughs> um, so it, it is somewhat surprising to find you surrounded by music and, and doing the razzmatazz of showbiz, really. And mm, no, no, it's not. I don't, I don't want to let go. It's like diving off the top board. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Go on. Two, three, four, chop. No. What about eight beats? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh dear. How long have you got before the epidrome? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a very expensive part of a hobby, though, because you'd have to have two records and. I do all my money on this. All this gear. Yeah. This is this is all. I'd this is all I um it's the, only thing I, it's the only thing I've, I've gone a bit mad over is that all these records and uh, and uh, why why well you could have some sort of hobby and it's, it's a definite outlet because um what's it an outlet for though well it's not it's nothing it's not sort of a hold on there is right it's not, it's not sort of like, it's not like smashing, it's not hitting anything. I think it's just a relaxing thing. 